Hello everyone, Apollo is my co-pilot here, bringing you Let's Play Yesterday. And that sounds kind of weird, but okay. Um, so, as I take it, this is a point-and-click kind of game. Um, I haven't played it before, but as far as I can tell, the general plot is that there are homeless people being murdered, and then there's an amnesia guy named John Yesterday who doesn't know what he did yesterday. And uh, <laughs> so we're going to try and solve that mystery. Uh, okay, choose one of the four windows to save your progress in the game. Alright, well, let's choose the first one. So I guess it doesn't matter. This game is dedicated to all those who live in the street and those who try to improve their situation, like Les Enfants de Don... Oh, shoot, I forget how to say that name in France. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. What is that? Okay. I'll pay attention. See, we're off to a good start. <laughs> Quixote, that's what it is. There we go. I got it. I got it. Okay. With that dramatic opening. One year earlier, children of the Don Quixote headquarters. Another homeless person burned to death. It's the sixth one this year. <laughs> and the killer? <laughs> the graphics Nothing are a little Henry. funny. The victims are faceless and nameless and no one cares. Not the media, the police, or politicians. Some people do care. I care. There's almost nothing we can do from here. Go talk to them. Get their names. Count them. Offer them our help and resources. Convince them they can have a better life. Take a look Yay. at this list. In all these places, there are homeless people we still haven't contacted. We have to continue our work, despite the danger. I... I'll do my best. I'll start with the first one, and... Cadway Station? Forget that one. Why is it on the list, then? Wait for me here. Want me to go with you? I'd rather you stay <laughs> no. and watch the van. It's too dangerous. It's on the list because... How should I know? No one has gone there since the hall collapsed. And frankly, I doubt there's anyone still living in that hellhole. Do me a favor. Stay out of trouble, okay? Yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> the end is near. Have a nice day. <laughs> like that. Oh, it's all spooky. Beware the order of the flesh. What is that? Don't blind me. All right. It looks like I have control. Do you need help to start playing? Click on the icon below. All right, let's see. Is this like... Oh, here we go. Okay. Explore. Use the pointer to move through the screen or click on the movement icons to go to another screen. Investigate. The magnifying glasses will let you see the hot spots in more detail or will give you extra information. Interact. Click on the hand, um, the cog wheels or the balloon icon to interact with hot spots and characters. Inventory. Click on the bottom bar items to blow them up. <laughs> that actually sounds really funny. I understand what it's trying to say, but it sounds like you can explode them by clicking on them. Um, drag and drop them onto screen hotspots or other items in order to combine them. Right click, double click, or drag them onto the bottom bar to bring them back into the inventory. Alright, help. Here we've got light bulb is blocked. Here you'll find hints to move forward. Okay, that's cool. 
uh, the target sign, this icon will show you all the active hotspots on the screen. And the star will allow you to play again your favorite moments on the game. Okay, cool. Uh, go back. There we go. Okay, let's see. So, yeah, I th that's, that's all whatever. Oh, I can interact with this? What's that? Um, maybe it's the gigantic eye, maybe not. But the truth is, you feel like you're being watched. That's creepy. Go touch it. <laughs> you could take one of the tiles from the mosaic, but you don't. Aw, uh, we have respect for art. Okay, what's this? Um, there's a suitcase trapped under the rubble that's blocking the stairway. Okay. Well, get it out. No matter how hard you pull on the handle, you can't get the suitcase out from under the rubble. Is this a different one? No, that's, that's also... No, get out! I don't, I don't care about the suitcase. Okay, so this is all the suitcase right there. Is there anything else around here? Oh, we can walk that way. We can go in the train car. Let's do that. Oh, that's really creepy. Your heart skips a beat when you think you found someone, but it's just a mannequin. That is really que creepy. Whoever lives here has a twisted sense of humor. No kidding. Examine it. Let's see, look. She seems to be weeping. You don't consider put picking up the mannequin or changing its pose. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, rope. That's probably good. Oh no, it's it's a cable. An electrical cable several meters long. Oh. When you pick up the cable, an image of Ralph Martinson comes to mind. A student in your university who has found hanging who was found hanging in the restroom a couple of months ago. Oh, well that's terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that to you. Oh, there's a can. Look at the can. You're thirsty and your mouth is dry. If only the can were full. Right now you drink anything, even beer, something you normally detest. Hey, me too. Alright, even though the can's empty, who knows, it might come in handy later. What for? Can we read the newspaper? No. Okay, I guess we can go out that way. Oh, look at the door. Closed. It can't be opened. There is rubble blocking it on the other side. Okay. Um, is there anything else in here? I guess I could use a little hotspot highlighter, but I don't want to do that. That feels like cheating. I'll do that if I need more help. Oh, that's... What's this about? Oh my god, that teddy bear is... What is... These are so creepy! What's going on here? A toy phone. No, I'm more concerned about these two. Look at it. They look like they want to eat your soul. You pick up the toy phone from the box. Man, we are picking up the oddest assortment of things right now. Oh, we've got a light. Flashlight. Can you use it? Let's see. Use the flashlight. Nah. Shine it in there. Shine it in the creepy toys. Okay, fine. Wait, where are you going? Oh, I guess I told him to walk over there. Walk over here! <laughs> What's that? Examine. A basketball hoop somewhat broken. Unlike your friend Cooper... Oh, is that the guy in the car? You've never been interested in sports. What's this? There's a coin stuck in the slot. You press the coin return button, but the trapped coin doesn't drop. Okay, so I guess I have to use something to get it out of there? What's this? What is that? There's rubble blocking the door. The pieces are too heavy, you'll never be able to move them. Well, let's go and get the, the giant guy sitting in the car. Wait, what am I looking at here? A bizarre mix of rubble and toys. Could there be children living in the station? Or maybe just a really immature adult? Since you're a bit of a nerd, <laughs> you pick up the battery-operated figure of a character from a video game that came and went almost unnoticed. Okay. <laughs> Wait, are we done looking at this? Yeah, okay. No, get out. I don't care. Uh, what's this thing? 
uh, a telephone with no receiver and a broken keypad. As things stand, calling from this phone is not an option. Um, can we use the cable? But then where would we take it? Can you... Yeah, yeah. Can we put the cable in there? Cable. No, put the cable on it. I guess not. Okay. Fine. Have it your way. Um, can we go anywhere else? Can we go up here? Yeah, we can go back there. This place is creepy. No wonder she didn't want us to come down here. Okay. You assume that it was put there by people who live here. Well, what are they protecting? Why is there brambles on the fence? It's locked and obviously can't just be pushed open. Um, yeah, these things. What are these about? Whoever lives here really doesn't want anyone to get through the gate. Are you? Is there an option to jump over this? Although you've never been very interested in your body, you value it enough to not try to climb over the bramble. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, well, um... Oh, I've got a smartphone. Cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wait, can we... Yeah, yeah. Let's put that there. Whoa, that totally worked. It occurs to you that you could use the receiver from the toy telephone. Uh, probably not, but okay. But right away you see that it's a really stupid idea. Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say... Wait. Can we use a smartphone? If you manage to make a call from the payphone, you could use your cell phone to look up your friend Cooper's phone number. Wait, I don't understand. Okay. Whatever. Why do we need to use the payphone? We have a cell phone. Is there no reception down here? Alright. Let's see, there was another direction that I could go in. This way. Let's see. Oh! I guess I can just look. The dark tunnel you use to enter the station. You've come here with the clear goal of helping any homeless people who might be living here. And you're not leaving until you've achieved it. Okie dokie. Fair enough. Um... Let's see. Maybe, can I use the... No. I'm not used to having to drag this stuff. Can I use the cable on this? You tie one end of the cable to the handle of the suitcase, then you wrap the other end around the column and tie it to the handle of the suitcase. Or, and also tie it to the handle of the suitcase. Can you pull on it or something? After wrapping it around the column, the two ends of the cable are tied to the handle of the suitcase. Bracing yourself with one foot on the column, you pull on the cable with all your might, but you still can't dislodge the suitcase. Oh man. This is a pain in the butt. Um, let's see. What is this for? I don't understand. Let's try using that. No. <laughs> Didn't think so. What's the deal with... Oh, that's really creepy. Battery operated figure. Wait, batteries? Can we use... no. Batteries on this? No. Batteries on flashlight. Oh, okay. I don't need to put batteries in the flashlight. Um, maybe let's try... This thing is creepy. Get it out of here. Okay, let's try putting you in there. No. That doesn't work. Um, oh yeah, maybe the, I can get this out somehow. Let's try the can. No. <laughs> I didn't think so. What is this? Your ID card is a volunteer for the NGO Children of Don Quixote. Okay. Hey, his registration number starts with a Y. And it's like the exact same Y as the one that was in the intro clip. Hmm. Alright, I have to figure out how to get that out. Let's see. This is probably going to be useful, right? Try the toy! No. <laughs> 
Is there really nothing else that I can interact with here? There's that thing, but that's not going anywhere. Wait, what? Oh, that was to go back in there. Um... There has to be something to do with this. But I don't know what. Try the can. No. <laughs> try this guy. Did I already try that? Yeah. Um, how about the flashlight? No. I don't understand. Hmm. Alright, I want to see. Where is the little thing that highlights the hot, pot, hot spots? Uh, is it this one? Click here to see the hot spots that you can interact with. Yeah. Oh, see? There's one that I missed. Haha. -ha. Oh, I totally understand what this can be used for. An iron handrail broken. You've never exactly been famous for your physical prowess, so you pick up the iron bar to protect yourself from any problems that might come up. That's a good idea. Wait. What is this about? But I can't interact with it, so it doesn't matter. Alright, go back out. Let's see. Let's try this. Let's get some leverage going here. Yeah, yeah. Do that. You insert the bar between the cable and the column, and you turn it. Multiplying the force until the cable finally pulls the suitcase out from underneath the rubble. Yay! Success! Uh, can you pick that up again? The metal bar used to get the suitcase. Pick it up again. For now, you leave the metal bar next to the column. Why? What's this? The cable withstood the tension you created when pulling the suitcase out. Oh, I like this. We've got some physics going on here. You don't think the cable is going to be of any further use, so you leave it here. How do you know? Alright, well, let's see this. You open the suitcase and find several things that might be useful to you. What's this? Ooh, a box cutter, a screwdriver, and electrical tape. Why did somebody leave stuff like that hanging around? Um, okay, we'll head back this way. Let's see. No, keep going. Um, try the electrical tape. Yeah, yeah. Electrical tape. If you had the phone's receiver, you could use the electrical tape to attach it to what's left of the cable on the payphone. Okay, so I need to find that somewhere, I guess. Did I miss a hotspot in here, too? Ah. Uh, do that again. Oh, I can read the station sign. Read it. <laughs> That's a really creepy picture. You recall the words of June, the director of Children of Don Quixote. Cadway Station, forget that one. Stay out of trouble, okay? You could take one of the tiles from the mosaic, but you don't. Okay. Oh, wait. Let's use... Let's try... Yeah. Let's try the box cutter on this. Will that work, or do I use a screwdriver? The knife blade is too thin to dislodge the trapped coin, and too flexible to use as a lever to pry it out. Okay, put that back. Try this guy. You try to pry, pry the coin out of the slot with the screwdriver, but you can't get it out. Man, this is a really annoying... coin. What in the world? Am I supposed to use this for something else? Suitcase. <laughs> I don't know. What is this about, too? I don't get it. Go back in here. Um, let me make sure I got all of this stuff in here. Yes, I did. Okay, go back. Let's see if I can mess with that lock some more. Let's try the screwdriver on the lock. As expected, the point of the screwdriver doesn't fit into the keyhole of the padlock. Okay, how about this guy? The point doesn't fit into the keyhole, and it's too thick and rigid to slip between the shackle and the body of the padlock. Hmm. Can we cut the brambles, though? 
You try to cut the thorns of the bramble, but it's too thick and hard for this cutter. Okay. Man, problems everywhere. Nothing is working. 